It is essentially a final warning from the UN. A potentially catastrophic threshold for global warming will be crossed in the next decade. The signs are everywhere. Greenhouse gases are increasing, air and ocean temperatures climbing, glaciers are melting and sea levels rising. There will be more flooding and more droughts. Humanity is on thin ice and that ice is melting fast. In short, our world needs climate action on all fronts, everything, everywhere, all at once. In the 1970s, global temperatures annually were a blend, slightly above and slightly below average. The blue was cooler than average. Fast forward to the last decade. Hardly any blue at all. Temperatures almost everywhere have been above the historic average, especially in the Arctic. The rate of rising temperatures these last 50 years is the highest in the last 2,000 years. Temperatures are now 1.1 degrees Celsius higher than pre-industrial levels. And the goal of no more than a 1.5 degree rise will be reached by the early 2030s, if not sooner. The rest of this decade is key. The rest of this decade is whether we can apply the brakes and stop the warming at that level. The UN report calls on the most polluting nations to speed up the changes needed, shut down coal production, curb other fossil fuel use, and shift more quickly to low carbon energy. Canada is at the center of the debate, a major producer of fossil fuels and a steward of one of the longest stretches of the environmentally sensitive Arctic. The Canadian government has committed to achieving net zero emissions by 2050, but the UN has moved that timetable forward to as close as possible to 2040. For Canada, that's a challenge. It's one thing to, to simply say, well, you know, we want to reach this goal, but we have to give ourselves the, mean, the means to get there. And we, we do that now in Canada for 2050. We will obviously need to, to, to take a, a second long, hard look at what the IPCC is proposing for 2040. Critics say this country must do more. Canada needs to finally address the elef elephant in the climate policy room, which is the continued expansion of oil and gas production. In spite of the dire outlook, the UN report says it's not too late to limit the harm from climate change, but we must act now. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.